Let's take a look at how we can use smart connections with Obsidian. I will show you five ways of using it like a second brain. Smart connections is this plugin for Obsidian that lets you talk to your nodes, find hidden links between ideas and explore your vault with the help of AI. Smart Connections comes with a smart chat feature that allows selecting LLMs from different AI providers. This plugin works out of the box, that is, it can analyze your vault and find nodes that are semantically related, even if they don't share links, tags, or keywords. It ranks the most relevant nodes from your vault based on meaning, not just words. I'll show you this later, but for now, coming back to the smart chat feature, this one doesn't work out of the box, so the plugin does not ship this feature with the working LLM inside of it, and it doesn't activate any default model or server unless you select a provider or run a local model manually. So let's dive into it to see how this can be done. First, you need to install Smart Connections plugin. To do so, open the settings window by pressing Command, Comma on Mac or Control, Comma on Windows. Then navigate to Community Plugins, Browse, then search for Smart Connections and install the plugin. Once installed, the plugin needs to be enabled. You can do it from here after installation, or you can do it by toggling this button. Also, the plugin needs to index the available data. That's why the first time you open it, you will see indexing alerts. So let's see how we can use the AI using Smart Chat feature. This feature can be accessed in a few ways. You can click on its own icon, which is displayed to the left, once the plugin is installed. Now you can drag and drop this tab to the right sidebar. Another way is to search this feature by pressing Command P on Mac or Ctrl P in Windows, then type Smart Chat, then select Open Smart Chat. If the right sidebar is not displayed for you, you might have it closed, and to open it, click on this icon here. You might also notice that when searching for the Smart Chat feature, there is one more option called Smart Chat GPT View. This opens Chat GPT web page on the sidebar, but it can't access your notes from Obsidian as you might expect. To access more ChatGPT options, you will have to log in with your own credentials. Now let's make use of the Smart Chat feature by specifying an AI model to use. You can select AI models from various providers by opening the settings window. Press Command comma on Mac or Control comma on Windows to open it. Here you should see the Smart Chat option and then choose any provider from the list. Don't forget to get the API key first and paste it here. Be aware of your data being exposed to train the AI. So if your data is sensitive, use a locally installed LLM. You can either use Olama or LM Studio. One important information is that to run locally installed large language models efficiently, a minimum of an M1 CPU is required for optimal performance. So if you don't have these hardware requirements, you cannot follow the following steps. You'll have to stick with the LLMs which are provided by external providers, like for instance ChatGPT, as shown previously. For this tutorial, I will show you how to make use of LM Studio. So navigate to this web address, download it and install it. Then open it and go to the discovery section here on the left, where the magnifying glass is located. By clicking on it, you will see a model search window that will allow you to download specific LLMs.
Once the installation is done, go back and select the newly downloaded model to make use of it. Then click on Developer icon, enable the server, and copy the server address which exposes this LLM to your environment. So go back to Obsidian, Settings, Smart Chat, and select the Custom API option. As an API adapter, select LM Studio, then paste the data as follows. Model name, Llama, protocol, HTTP, add the host name, the port, and the path. This doesn't require an API key. However, you can add better LM Studio. If you do not provide an API key, you might get various alerts when trying to use this feature. Once this is done, click on the new chat window icon to make use of the AI model you just mentioned in the settings. Let's provide a context to have the AI analyzing it. Click on Add Context and select a note. In this case, I will select my dinosaur article. And then let's type Summarize this article in one sentence. And that's how we trigger the AI analyzing a note and providing output based on the request. The context can be updated by clicking on the Edit Context button. And here I'll remove the dinosaur article and add the remaining notes. Now they are going to represent the context for my next requests. So I could ask this time to summarize the key ideas from these notes and show how they relate. The information from these notes is parsed, analyzed, and then the LLM is returning information based on the request. Tip number two, brainstorm new ideas based on notes. Let's ask the AI to suggest three ideas that would actually complement it. So in this case, I can type, based on the note titled Habit Stacking for Focus and Flow, suggest three ideas that would complement this topic. And just like that, I will get new ideas to be used later. Tip number three, ask for tagging suggestions. So let's bring on a new chat window, select my dinosaur article. And to complete my classification, I'm going to ask suggest tags that best describe this note's content and topic structure. Tip number four, role play an expert. We can have an inline assistant that we can use. For this one, we can navigate down here, click on edit system message and type you're a behavioral science expert. My instruction would be, what would you change or improve in this note about cognitive load? I'm going to provide the context. I'm going to add my note and see the result. As a conclusion, you can use the smart chat panel for side-by-side -side chatting while editing your notes. One last tip, tip number five, let's discover hidden relationships between notes using the lookup context. Even without AI chat, smart connections can analyze your vault and find notes that are semantically related, even if they don't share links, tags, or keywords. When you run the lookup context command on a note, 
the plugin calculates embedding similarity using vector representations of your node's content. It then ranks the most relevant nodes from your vault based on meaning and not just words. Think of it like a smarter, AI-powered version of backlinks or related nodes. To do this, click on View Smart Connections on the left sidebar, select a node, and note is the right sidebar. Other nodes are displayed here, and these numbers represent the semantic similarity score between the currently open node and each related node based on embeddings. This means that each node gets a mathematical representation of its meaning. The result is a number between 0 and 1. The idea is that the closer a node is to 1, the stronger the connections between nodes. Think of it like a meaning meter. You could say that what is less than 0.3 doesn't have a significant relationship, and something between 0.3 and 0.49 is a moderate or a partial match. Also, something between 0.5 and 0.69 is a good match, and what is between 0.7 and 1 has a very strong semantic match. You can also use the Smart Lookup feature. Here you could type it uses the semantic meaning to find the most relevant nodes, and as it says here, the results are sorted by similarity to my query. I could also try another query, and here we have it, a very good match for my search. So that's Smart Connections. Try it out and see how far your ideas can go. Thanks for watching, and if you start uncovering cool insights with Smart Connections, let me know in the comments.